Hi, this is April Flowers with Fabutainment, and I'm at the Monarch Music Group with Bishop S. Y. Younger. Hey. I'm talking about preacher, preacher, lecturer, author, evangelist, spreading the word, being the word, acting out the word, and he is right here, right now in the flesh. It's a blessing to be with you. Oh. I'm, I'm feeling this. You, you feeling this? <laughs> I was feeling some of the titles to uh, your lectures and speeches that you give. I mean, you're you're hitting them hard with the message. Well, you know, for me, the message is everything, you know? Mm. And so my desire is not to be trendy because kind of trends yeah. kind of go and come, but mm -hmm. I always want to be relevant. And Ooh. so any mm. music we release, any uh, subjects we teach, oh. we want to make sure it's something that actually people yeah. need and yeah. uh, administers to people. And it reaches the people. And what do the people, especially after COVID, because we're still feeling the after effects, mm -hmm. what do the people need? What do they need to hear? How do you, how are you reaching those souls and grabbing them? Encouragement. Ah. You know, yes, people need to be challenged. Yeah. But consistently being challenged without ever being encouraged Ooh. can make people feel unfulfilled. Wow. Uh, you know, because we have all of this motivation, motivation, yeah. goal setting, and all yeah. that stuff is mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. But even in goal setting, you need sometimes some short-term goals like, getting out of the bed in the morning because there are some days getting out of the bed in the morning is a victory by itself holla if you hear me you don't have to really holla but i'm gonna <laughs> holla hey do you hear me yeah and so if i'm that person struggling with that i can just go to youtube and and choose one of your lectures your speech which one will get me out the out the bed faster Okay, now that's hard, but okay. I think I know exactly which okay. one it would be. Uh -huh. Probably be Keep Going. Oh. It's a clip where I talk about, uh, I was just talking calm, but the church was in a high praise. Uh -huh. And uh, the statement is, I know what it is to cry until you have no more tears left Ooh. to cry. But after you finish crying, get up and keep going. And the, the video went viral for a little while. Wow. But then one morning um, I woke up and P. Diddy had reposted it. No. Yes, uh, one of his friends, I think it was Fonsworth, mm -hmm. had sent it to him because he was having a, a, a bad day, bad you know, day. with the mm -hmm. deaths that were surrounding oh, him yeah. and his kids' mother. And, uh -huh. and uh, he shared it, and it went viral all over again. Uh, oh, they said it really, really spoke to him. And so mm -hmm. I believe that's what the message, that's mm -hmm. what the gospel message the is. Gospel it's message it's is good news. Good news. Good news. Oh, this is some good news because I'm going and I'm going to listen to that. You traveled the world, though, spreading the word, spreading song. Um, most interesting country that you've been to? Most interesting is probably India. India. And, and India has my heart. I've been going to India. We've been doing ministry there. Mm -hmm. We've been working in a children's home there now for over 18 years. 18 years. And then that's why it was kind of hard for me to come into this gospel industry. Okay. Because I was really embedded in gospel ministry. You I understand? Felt that. I and, felt that in your words and your presence. Yeah, yeah, but India has a special place in my heart uh, because even though some parts are westernized, uh -huh. you can go back in time in certain other parts. Wow. Family is still a strong uh, thing there, even with arranged marriages mm -hmm. now, you know. Uh, yes. Even in, uh, and then Christians are just a small, tiny percentage. Okay. And to see their commitment and devotion to God. Yes. The colors, the fragrances. Oh. India. India is India this. is yeah. the place. Wow. Uh, you drop the F word, which is family. Hell, How you, important? You made me nervous. You said okay, no, no, nah, nah, <laughs> honey, honey, uh, we, we keep it gospel over Amen. here. Uh, family, mm -hmm. getting families back together, celebrating family. Yes. Religion being that thing, traditional thing in families. Getting back to that, speak right. to that. Uh, family is really time. big for me. Yeah. You know, I grew. I had a special experience. I grew up in a small one stoplight town in the country of Virginia. What? And at one time it was four generations in one house. My wow. great grandparents, my grandparents, my mother and me. What? So I was actually raised with my great grandparents. And ten years ago I moved my grandparents in the house with me. Aww. And my grandmother is ninety years old and 90. she's still living, still I have the blessed opportunity mm. to glean from generations. See? 
And sometimes we are so, in our culture, in the Western yes. culture, we're so individualistic yes. that we don't think bigger than us. Right, we don't. Yeah, we don't think bigger than us. Well, I'm glad that you're able to take them bigger I like with their that. hearts, with their souls, and around the world. We thank you for stopping by Fabutainment. And we, we, we're, we're blessed by this. I'm blessed that you had me. Thank uh, you. Okay, uh, well, you, you heard it first. <laughs> Bishop S.Y. Younger in the house everywhere because he's worldwide. <laughs> Check you later. Thank you.